So guys, I'm launching a course and it's called Hello Rails. And you may have seen it. I've been blasting it out with some of my recent videos on Ruby on Rails stuff. That is just kind of a, a blurb to get to you to check out hellorails.io. Um, the whole purpose of the course is to teach you Ruby on Rails from the ground up. So my target is those either transitioning from another framework or used to building WordPress type of websites like I was, or just complete noobs to development or something, wanting to get the you know the gist of a full feature feature framework under their heart under their belt. Um, this is my attempt to help you with that. Um, I've been seeing pretty good success from stuff I put on YouTube just by learning in public, and I figured. Uh, maybe take a chance and try a full feature course where it's basically you're building an app along with me from the ground up. So Hello Rails is my course um, designed to take you from um, no prior knowledge of Ruby on Rails to shipping an actual production worthy app. So we'll be doing things, everything from installing Rails like I've done in my very first few Ruby on Rails tutorials on my blog or YouTube. Uh, to taking that all the way up to production and shipping an app. Um, along the way, we're, we're building a fictional app, but it is one that's modeled after a realistic app, and that is Reddit. So the actual name of the app I'm using in the course is called Webit, which is a non, is it basically a terrible name, but hey, I'm not that creative with naming conventions. So um, the beautiful thing is you're following along with me. We're gonna, I'm gonna explain everything as much as I can to really make you understand what it is you're doing and not just building an app alongside me um, to where you would actually be able to use that knowledge later and create your own apps, uh, which is kind of the point of learning, learning the framework. Um, Ruby on Rails is one of those frameworks that is very convention driven and um, you don't wanna configure things. And most of the time you spend Doing that and other frameworks that I've seen, like um, some of the front end stuff I've seen lately, like React and whatnot, like just getting Webpack or something set up is a nightmare. So Ruby on Rails is the counter to that, to where you basically don't need to configure much and you're ready very quickly to just get, like create a new app, um, get users into the mix, get um, modeling done, all that stuff, emails, background processing, all these things taken care of. Um, so I figured I'd answer some FAQs that are just kind of what I'm assuming would be FAQs. This isn't live yet to where you'd see the FAQ section, but there will be a new version of this page, hellorails.io, when it ships uh, and the course is live. Today marks my very first few videos of recording it. So there's still a, some time for me to get this done. It's quite uh, comprehensive. So I will say that if you're looking for a, a uh, course that's very thorough, very uh, all the way through kind of scenario like I've done on my YouTube stuff. That's this is my attempt at that. Um, yes, there are other tutorials and courses out there doing the same thing, but I feel like maybe my own touch um, of flair or whatever you want to call it might make it easier to understand from your perspective. Um, so the course itself will be basically a video based course. But there's three tiers, so you can get the book version, which I'm almost wrapped up with. Uh, didn't even plan to write a book, book version, but oftentimes when I record stuff, I'll need an outline. That outline transitioned into a book, so lo and behold, there'll be a book, book version. That's probably the cheapest tier. I don't have pricing figured out yet, I'm sorry, but I will let you know that uh, once the course is live. Um, be sure to subscribe to this to get notified. Uh, chances are there'll be a discount in it for you. So go ahead and do that. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Really lets me know my demographic and who I can target and help the most. So if you're interested, check it out. Um, the second tier of the course, jumping back into that, is called the starter course. And it's basically getting a Rails app from the ground up using the basic conventions of Ruby on Rails. And then there's the master course, which has some more bells and whistles, and you can get into a private Slack community with me and just talk about um, anything, any troubles you're having or just stuff you wanna talk about in general. Um, on top of that, there's extra features we're adding to the app in the master course. So things like payment processing and uh, testing and whatnot will be talked about. 
there's a whole conundrum of tests. Like I could make, I could make another course about testing alone. Um, but I, I think just getting you uh, one-on-one with that in this course is my, is my approach. Um, since it's very kind of, I would say beginner driven. Um, I'm not a pro like full stack programmer by day. I'm actually a product designer, but I use Ruby on rails to create any of my side projects, my apps. I actually, I work on Ruby on rails at dribble, um, the app dribble every day. So I'm in the thick, in the weeds with it. So I, I feel comfortable enough to teach it. It's been something I've been using for almost two years now. So I want to give back as well as just kind of be a different voice in learning the framework. There's the typical Rails tutorial out there that's the go-to standard. Nothing against that. It works perfectly. I'm just going at it a, like a small different direction, I guess you'd say, um, and teaching it my way just to see if, you know, maybe it's more modern, maybe it's up to date. We talk about things like uh, payments and whatnot, uh, integrating Stripe, all these new things with Rails coming out when it launches. So. The course, I'm like I said, I'm beginning to start recording literally today, so I'm going to plan on hoping this is out by summer uh, 2019, if you're watching this right now. Um, I actually built the page in Mention with a Ruby on Rails, so there's a little framework in mind when I um, onboard you. If you're going to take the course, you'll get an actual dashboard to view your course materials and just, you know, stream the videos and download the book if you want. Aside from that, uh, pricing, I, like I mentioned, I'm not quite there yet on, on what it will be. I, it will be reasonable. I'm not trying to just only make money off this thing. I want to actually teach the framework. It's it's kind of my passion lately. Um, and it's, it's great to see people, especially on my YouTube channel or my blog, uh, give me feedback and, you know, just say thanks because it's it's something I feel like hasn't been voiced enough of late the framework is an older framework and sometimes it gets bashed because of that and i think that's sad because um, it's very current still to this day for so many apps like github or uh, even shopify uses it which is like one of the biggest apps out there so to, for people to just say oh it's not the latest and greatest it's kind of like um well it it does the job and does it well so what why why do i need to buy into some fancy new framework or new tech just because it's the buzz. Uh, so at least that's my approach towards this. Uh, but like I said, we're building a Webit, a Revit based app. So it's very like Reddit in its functionality. I chose Reddit because it's more of a, uh, it uses that basic CRUD model that you need to create things, edit them, update them, uh, delete them. Um, then we can hook into other things like subscribing to uh, communities in Reddit, like a, an actual, I don't know what they call them, I guess, yeah, community at this point. So you like subscribe, unsubscribe, that functionality comes to mind. Um, commenting, so you've got like nested modeling and attributes and whatnot with Rails, which gets kind of advanced, but it's something that's very real in today's world. So comments on Reddit uh, are ridiculous. So my take on them might be a little bit different, but this the functionality is still there. Uh, we'll get into some emails. Um, actually using Rails uh, email, action mailer is what it's called. Um, just the basics too, like using uh, Rails console, using or making queries with Active Record and whatnot. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments on this video or my blog. Um, I've done other stuff non-related to Rails if you're interested in checking it out. Um, written a book about UX design. Uh, and pro and Tumblr theming of all things. So just the kind of a um, hosh bosh of different things over the years. Um, I currently work at Dribble, So my day to day is actually in the weeds with Ruby on Rails. Like I said, I did launch a, an app called Affinicast a while back that was full, a full stack Rails app. And it was something that I actually used as my entry to Ruby on Rails at the time. And I had this idea to create a tutorial network for uh, Affinity Serif based apps, um, like photo, they're like Photoshop Illustrator clones. And I wanted to kind of spread the word of those and actually just teach people how to use it. It ended up being a ton of work and I decided to, you know, kind of pivot. And I feel like uh, a course is something more in my alley. I feel like I really love teaching and this is kind of my voice to get something more technical out there. 
Um, I plan on doing other stuff in the future, maybe extending this course to be a more advanced course, uh, like a V2 of it future. We'll see how it, well it does. So with your help, I can get there. I think that's about it. Um, I, I feel like I'm rambling, so I'll, I'll stop there. Um, I'm excited to launch this. I'm working on it now. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, I'm at just a lever, J U S T A L E V E R. And you can check out hello underscore underscore rails is the Twitter handle for this page. There'll be tweets going out for that, uh, left and right once this thing's live. So, uh, up until then I'll be posting like stuff I'm working on with it. Like uh, recently I posted like, um, uh, a form. Um, integration where I'm, I'm actually rolled my own payment system with rails and used a coupon generation. And with that, I'm actually checking with Axios. It's an Ajax library to check the database for a coupon code and if it exists. So like I said, if you subscribe, you might be getting a coupon code, um, at that time. So definitely keep your eyes on your email this later this summer. Uh, with that, as always, thank you guys for the support. It's, it's meant a lot. My channel has been growing and it's super cool to see. So, uh, as always, any feedback you have is great. It helps me grow and evolve and, you know, touch on areas you guys actually want to actually see. So, um, that I believe is it. And thanks for watching. All right. Peace.